nobody in the world that doesn't want to feel self-confidence. Everybody say self-confidence. Self-confidence. Self-confidence means believing in yourself. Believing in your abilities to get stuff done. To do things. If you don't have any self-confidence, you don't believe you can get stuff done. Sit down. Sit. Yeah. All right. If you don't believe in yourself, you just you don't believe that you can get stuff done. Self-confidence is extremely important for success in life. If you don't have self-confidence, you're not going to go try anything, are you? Because you think, well, it's, what good is it? I'm not going to make it anyway. Do you see what I mean? Also, self-confidence is important for self-defense. We're learning jujitsu in here. And you can learn all the techniques you want. You can learn Kimura and rear naked choke. But if you don't believe in yourself, you're not going to be able to pull that off in real life. You know what I mean? And by the way, bullies, anybody know any bullies at school? The bullies are everywhere. You should all raise your hand. Bullies are everywhere. They pick on people who have low self-confidence. They pick on people who don't think they can take care of themselves. You look, when you don't have self-confidence, it kind of shows on the outside. You look like a target. You know what I'm saying, Brody? You know, kids that have low self-confidence. So this is really important to have self-confidence. Raise your hand if you know anybody in school or maybe on TV, sports stars, whatever, that to you seems like they have high self-confidence. Raise your hand if you know someone like that. So like Robert, will be an example? Do you know, someone you know or someone we all know? Uh, um, Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise, all right. What do you think? Uh, Josh Wilder. Josh Wilder. What do you think? Conor McGregor. Conor McGregor. Conor McGregor has a ton of self-confidence. That's right, yep. Um, I forgot what his first name, but something Marcia. Yeah, Marcia, Marcia. Yep. Tom Brady. All right, Marcia. good. So you get the idea. Okay, put your hands down for a second. Okay, so you get the idea. But here's the thing. You don't have to be born with self-confidence. It can be something that's learned. I'm going to tell you a little secret about myself. Right now... I got a whole lot of self-confidence. I believe in my abilities. I ain't scared to try anything. I'll get up in front of a room of 10,000 people. I ain't scared at all. Okay? Put your hand up for a second. But I was not always this way. When I was in high school, I was kind of like skinny and shy and didn't want to talk to anybody. So I learned self-confidence over time. A lot of it through martial arts. And so now I got a ton of self-confidence. Whatever I set my mind to do, I think I can do it. You know what I mean? And you can do that too. So my point is, is that self-confidence, you can learn this. And jiu-jitsu is a great way to learn self-confidence. I had a student one time. I want to tell you his name. His name was Ben. Ben, he was a skinny little, uh, I think he was about 14. His grandpa brought Ben to me in my school. Walked in one day. Here came this skinny little kid. He walked like this. He looked like a bully target. He didn't really believe in himself. And Ben was getting picked on at school. He got jumped by a couple of guys and got beat up at high school. I think he was like 14. So he was like a freshman in high school. And his grandpa said, can you help Ben? Because Ben doesn't have a lot of self-confidence and he's getting beat up at school. So I said, okay. So I put Ben in my, in my Muay Thai kickboxing class. And I'm going to be honest with you, he was terrible. <laughs> he was probably one of the worst students I ever had. I tried to teach him a basic stance. I said, okay, Ben, you stand like this. And he, he kind of was off balance this way. I said, no, man, you got to straighten up. And then he was off balance this way. Just really awkward. Just really no natural ability whatsoever. The kid kind of sucked at martial arts, honestly. But you know what Ben had? Ben had perseverance. And he kept coming, and he kept going. And he got pretty darn good. He, he overcame all that. He got really good with his hands, like with his boxing. And he got so good in boxing that after two years of training with me, uh, this was my school in Indiana, he went to the Indiana Golden Gloves, you know, the, the boxing cha amateur boxing championships. He won. I mean, this kid, he, could, he was tall and skinny, but bang, he had a hard jab. And one of my favorite moments of all my martial arts teaching career was Ben in the, in the Golden Gloves ring, referee holding his hand up. He had a big old black eye from the boxing match, but he won. But seeing Ben transform from skinny little kid, couldn't defend himself, to now he's in the Golden Gloves ring like this, was an amazing moment for Ben and an amazing moment for me too. So the point is, guys, is self-confidence can be learned. Jiu-Jitsu and martial arts is a great way to learn it. You have to just get a series of successes under your belt. You know what I mean? you got to get a few wins and a few wins. 
and you got to have perseverance and over time you get better and better like Desmond the first time you came in here maybe you didn't have a whole lot of self-confidence in your jiu-jitsu but you start to roll around a lot and now you get a little better and a little better now you've been training for years and you got a whole series of wins so I watched you on a, a Saturday night I watched Desmond compete and what I really liked about Desmond the match was a draw but what I really was impressed about uh, with you, Desmond, is when Desmond came out, he just, you just exuded confidence. You just came out there and, man, when that match started, boom, you were just on him like a wet shirt. So I, I know you didn't always have that confidence, but Desmond has it now. So my point is, is martial arts is a great way to learn self-confidence. And coming up in a few more of my talks, I'm going to talk about ways that I, I can build all of you guys. If there's no one here that can't have a whole lot of, ton of self-confidence, like my student Ben, like Desmond, and like me too. Okay? All right, so let's line up for advanced class on three, one, two. All right, let's go.